how to disable or enable your touchscreen and touchpad on Windows. The first thing you need to do is navigate to the bottom left hand corner here of your desktop to the search box here, left click on it and then type the following device space manager. Once you've typed that in guys, your best match should be the device manager in the control panel. You want to navigate to the right hand side here and left click on open to open up the device manager. Once your device manager has opened, you can maximize it by left clicking on the maximize button here. In device manager, you'll be able to see all the devices that you have drivers installed for on your computer. As you can see, it ranges from audio inputs and outputs all the way down to universal serial bus controllers. What we're looking for is the touchscreen and touchpad devices. To find these, they'll be in the human interface devices. So as you can see right here is human and interface devices and what we need to do is left click on the arrow here to see all the human interface devices that we have connected currently or installed drivers for on our computer. Once you've done that guys find touchpad or touchscreen whichever one you're looking for as you can see it's right here for me. It's called HID, which stands for Human Interface Devices Compliant Touchpad. And underneath here, HID Compliant Touchscreen. First, I'm going to take you through how to disable your touchscreen. So all you need to do to disable your touchscreen is find the HID Compliant Touchscreen device, right click on it, and you'll have a couple of options here. The option that we want is to disable our device. So all you need to do is left click on Disable Device to disable your touchscreen. Once you've done that, guys, you'll get a little notification that says HID compliant touchscreen disabling this device will cause it to stop functioning. Do you really want to disable it? All you need to do here is left click on yes and you'll disable the touchscreen. Next if you want to disable your touchpad all you need to do is find the HID compliant touchpad device right click on it again and then hit disable device. Once you've done that you'll receive the same notification all you'll need to do is hit yes to disable it. Once you've done that guys both your touchscreen and your touchpad are now disabled. And if we look to the left hand side here, you can see the icons have changed for the touchpad and touchscreen once we have disabled them. And that pretty much concludes the video guys on how to disable your touchpad and touchscreen devices on your computer. If you want to re-enable these devices, you'll need to go through a similar process. So let's say if we want to re-enable our touchscreen device on our computer, then all we need to do is right click on the HID compliant touchscreen and then select enable device. This time around, you'll not be greeted with another notification. Instead, your device will be automatically re-enabled. Great guys, so our touchscreen now has been enabled. And if you wanted to enable your touchpad, all you need to do is go through the same process again as we did with our touchscreen, and that is to find the HID compliant touchpad, right click on that device and then go enable device. And there we go guys, both the icons now for the touchpad and touchscreen are exactly the same as the others, meaning that they are both enabled again. All right guys, that pretty much concludes the video on how to disable or enable your touchscreen and touchpad on Windows. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Is it so hard to let you go?